With the new Valiverse Action Force toy line likely to be in our hands within the next month or two, I've spent the last few weeks hunting around on eBay for some 1 to 12 scale generic military vehicles. Because naturally I intend to do a number of different videos about the Valiverse Action Force toy line. And I would like some military vehicles to be able to use in the background of photography and for diorama setting and that kind of thing. So in today's video, I want to talk you through this incredible radio controlled 1 to 12 scale military truck from ML Tech Toys. So stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. This video is proudly brought to you by Valiverse, the creative company behind the most exciting new action figure range available on the market today, Action Force. Make sure you visit the Valiverse.com website to purchase your amazing Action Force comics, toys and other products and follow Valiverse on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook to keep up to date with the latest product news. All the links are in the description below. Shop Valiverse, because it's time for action. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Now before we get into the nitty gritty of this military truck, I'm going to state up front the biggest drawback is the price. This is quite an expensive toy. But I was very fortunate to find one on eBay Australia at 68% off. And at that price, I couldn't say no. But unfortunately, if you're not here in Australia and you're based internationally, I highly recommend spending a long time hunting around because you do not want to pay full retail price for this toy. This WL Tech radio controlled military truck is available in two different colors. I particularly wanted the sandy desert version to eventually you know, go with uh, the, the Action Force Desert Rat action figure. But the seller I was buying one only had the green one available and at 68% off, I couldn't afford to shop around elsewhere. So if you're chasing a particular color, be it olive drab or desert yellow, ensure you contact the seller before you purchase to make sure you're getting the color preference that you want. Now this radio controlled truck features an independent suspension system. It has a quite powerful motor and it can carry up to 1.2 kilos in weight. The truck comes with a 3.7 volt rechargeable battery, which you can recharge just with a simple USB connector. And when powering the truck, this battery is actually situated underneath the front bonnet. The radio control that drives this particular truck has a very simple trigger system where you basically pull it towards you for forward and push it away from you for reverse and there is a steering wheel on the side. And while the main truck motor does have a rechargeable battery, the controller is actually operated by four AA batteries. The truck is also fitted with four soft rubber tires and it's not quite olive drab, it's more of a, a very dark military grey. The front of the truck has got some nice detail molded in, including a winch and a few, a couple of shackles for towing purposes. These shackles are not actually usable, it's just molded in detail, but it makes the front of the truck look quite nice. On the doors and the bonnet, we've got the star of the US military, and on the side of the engine simply says war. And I'm just going to call this the war machine from now on, rather than the military truck, which is a bit bland, isn't it? It's war machine. The wing mirrors on the war machine can be folded outward. Obviously you've got steering wheel and that kind of detail inside the driver's position and a pair of twin exhausts at the back of the cab. But enough with all this boring technical detail. Let's see how the war machine handles. Now if you're going to pick up one of these war machines um, because you want to use it with 1 to 12 scaled figures, one of the disappointing things you're going to find, certainly that I found, is that not only do the doors of the cab not open, but the actual footwell is quite shallow and it's very difficult, almost impossible I would say, to fit a standard 
male 1 to 12 scale figure. Like Flint could never sit in the driver's seat of this vehicle. But I do have a solution for you. If you take an Agent Carter action figure from this particular two pack and separate the figure at the waist, her shoulders are narrow enough where she can actually fit through the window and actually be positioned inside the cab. And then just by clipping her hands onto the steering wheel, she sits in the driver's position. And obviously her uniform makes her her natural fit for this kind of a vehicle. There is plenty of storage space in the back of this, so you can you know, haul some of your Valorverse weapons packs to the front line of the battle. Or as I've got here, decked out with some uh, ammo crates from the Rambo Savage Strike headquarters. With the only downside being that the tailgate of this truck does not actually fold down. But overall, as a display piece, this toy looks absolutely fantastic with your World War II Captain America figure. It looks great with G.I. Joe classifieds. I mean, hell, it even looks good here with your Marvel Legends Punisher. What do I mean good? I mean, it looks great with your Marvel Legends Punisher. Like, awesome. Now, I have primarily purchased this toy for use in 1 to 12 scale dioramas and, you know, the background of photography and that kind of thing. But I must admit that I've actually just really enjoyed playing around with a radio controlled toy for a little while. And it's a mean looking war machine. So for anyone wanting to add to their G.I. Joe classified vehicle fleet or for the upcoming Valiverse Action Force toy line, you can't go past the ML Tech Toys radio controlled military truck. Just make sure you get it at a reasonable price. So thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to check out some of our other videos about the Valiverse Action Force toy line, you can click the links up here. Or you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here. I'm Tony from Analog Toys and I'll see you in the next video.